Hello everyone and welcome to this video showing you the location of all the field guide pages in the Great Hall section of Hogwarts in Hogwarts Legacy. Make sure to stay till the end so you can find all the pages and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I will help you out. Now let's get started. Okay, so I'm starting in the Great Hall here, right in front of the Great Hall, of course. And you just run up to the house point hourglasses over here and we find our very Avenue. first field page. Now we can proceed into the Great Hall over here. There will be a mirror on the right. Just light this up real quick to activate the moth, and then we go through the doors here. The next page will be right here, in between these tables. Now before proceeding down the Great Hall, we want to go back to the right here, because there is another hidden page up here. All we have to do is light up this brassiere, and then we can grab the page. And I missed my <laughs> spell there, but um, just grab it and then go back downstairs. And I'm going to stick to the right here because we want to go into the courtyard over here. And flying around you should see another page, which you can grab. And then go to this statue over here and there's another page. Now we can go back into the Great Hall and proceed towards the front of the hall. Here is another page. And then further down over here we have the Lumos. moth. So just get this to follow you with Lumos and then make your way back to the mirror. Place the moth there by letting go of Lumos and bam, another page. Now I'm going to proceed out these doors and go towards the left. There is a staircase around the back here that will lead us to some more pages. Then stop at this portrait right here of the fruit and we find another page here. Now this is actually a door, so just tickle that pear and then the door will open. Inside here is the house elf kitchen. We can go over here, and there's another field page. And then go further down in this corner, and we have another page. Now I'm going to teleport back to the Great Hall Flu Flame, because it's faster than walking all the way up. Once you're back in the Great Hall, just go back through these doors, straight towards where the hourglasses are. And we're going to continue forwards through the next set of doors. In here, there's a page flying around. And then to our right is a statue that you can cast Leviosa on to get the other page. Next, we reveal here, and there's another page. And then we go to the left and go down this door here. Turn to your left where the hallway splits and go down this way. Now you will need Alohomora to unlock these doors in this area. Alohomora. And you don't get Alohomora until after the autumn cutscene of the storyline. So if you don't have it yet, just keep playing through the story, you'll get it. With that unlocked, we can proceed down this hallway. And then go over here, and we will find another page. I had said I would. Rebellion. You should ask her. Can't hold my breath for that. Yeah. Then turn around and go straight down, you and you will find you another do. field guide page. And that's not all. Look up, and you will see a page flying around. So there are three pages in this room. Going to do it. Now we can leave and go back down the hall. And when you exit the door, go left, because there is another locked door that we must unlock. Alohomora. Inside of here is another brazier that we need to light to give us another page. And then go to the left again, and we have another door to unlock. This one Alohomora. does require level 2 Alohomora, so if you're not there yet, just collect a few more of those statues and you'll get there. And inside this room, we can reveal another page. Revelio. Now go straight down this hall, because we aren't done in this section yet.
and go to the right. And then we want to enter the door on the right here. And here is the most famous sink in all of Harry Potter. Now we can go back the way we came and go over to the side here for the mirror. Light that yes. up and then you can find the moth this way. Place that bad boy in the mirror and bam, we got another page. Now we can teleport back up and you can either go to the Great Hall or the Viaduct Courtyard. I only suggest doing the courtyard if you have a broomstick that you can use to fly up and around because that is much faster than walking through from the Great Hall. Alright, now you can hop on your broomstick if you have one. Go over here towards the courtyard. If you don't have this teleport, this is the door that leads from the Great Hall. So that now you know what that looks like. Now as soon as you come out of that door, go toward the right. And then there will be another statue here Levioso. that we can do Levioso on to get another page. Then hop on your broomstick and go down here and towards the left and you will find another mirror. I will light this up real nice. quick and then show you that location. I'm gonna hop on my broom, go up and then straight down and the moth is right over here. Now we can run back down this path to get to the stairs to get back to the mirror. With this page secured, we can now go down over here and there is a door that will lead you to the underground harbor. So enter this to get to the next area. Okay, once you're down here, make your way to the right side of the dock and go to the very last one and we can reveal a page here. Avelia. Now next, you can teleport to the boathouse or if you have a broom, just jump in the water here and swim out. Once you're out far enough, you can just hop up on your broom and fly to the boathouse. Stop at this boat here and there's another field page. And then go inside the boathouse, there's a brassiere that we can light up to get another page. And there you have it, all the field guide pages in the Great Hall section of Hogwarts. I hope this guide has helped you out. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more Hogwarts Legacy Guides.